As far as this picture is concerned, this film is concerned, unfortunately, this is not the exact story of the pain of the people of Kashmir. Tears have no color, whether it is a Kashmiri Pandit's sister's color or a Sikh sister's color, this tear or a Muslim one. Tear is a tear. What they want to achieve through this film in that pain? Don't market the tear. Don't market the pain. And uh, now another narrative is being built up, imposing Hindi for all of us. When there was a ki killing supreme going on across Lahore, Amalassar, even Jammu, but it was Kashmir where there was not a single incident I challenge those who are defaping, distorting the image of Kashmir today. Come on and have a discussion with us. So we are not being uh, provided that opportunity which could have been, which is due to us so under the law. We want to be together. We want to live together. We want to move together. Please keep it up. Don't divide. Don't allow those who want to divide our ranks on the pretext of religion, caste. And the dangers ahead are that those in authority are not providing any opportunity. They are not doing anything which could have provided some sort of a relief to our younger generation. Hijab or no hijab, halal or no halal, halal, whatever your caste, whatever your community, whatever region, youth is the potential. I hope you have seen the Kashmir Five movie. Uh, how was it? What was the first thought that came when you saw the movie? I have not seen the film because uh, I have been part of the actual film of Kashmir. I have been the sufferer, the victim, as many others. So, I need not to be filmed by some experts here and there. It's a big tragedy, open tragedy. Bigger in size and much more painful, but factual. As far as this picture is concerned, this film is concerned, unfortunately, this is not the exact story of the pain of the people of Kashmir. Yes, Kashmir has suffered many tragedies. Kashmiris have undergone many painful processes. One painful chapter of Kashmir is unfortunately, known as the migration of our brothers, sisters, Kashmiri Pandits. That will remain a very painful chapter of the Kashmiri history. But you see, pain needs to be shared. And wounds need to be healed up. You can't just market the pain. Don't use the tragedies for political ends, for dividing the people. Tears have no color, whether it is a Kashmiri Pandit's sister's color or a Sikh sister's color, this tear or a Muslim one. Tear is a tear. Somebody gets killed and that family has suffered. Whether he is a Hindu, he is a Muslim, he is a Sikh, he is anybody. A human being, a citizen of this country. So what is uh, now being done after so many decades, what they want to achieve through this filming that pain? The aim seems to be more openly advocating division among the ranks of the people. Using that for electoral ends, partisan ends. And I will appeal to them, those in authority or those who are the promoters of such films, 
please address the pain please try to heal the wounds don't market the tears don't market the pain don't use the pain to divide the people divide those who have undergone tragedies a muslim tragedy a hindu tragedy a sikh tragedy but finally a tragedy of indian citizens finally tragedy of human beings i appeal to the country men and women to realize that the time is to unite the country time is to unite all those who feel concerned about the future of the country now there are people who are in authority they have nothing to offer to the people in the field of development in the field of providing employment in the field of providing some relief to those who are hungry but they have certain certain instruments creating hatred among the people using different narratives hijab sometimes and sometimes in karnataka using halal or what not and uh, now another narrative is being built up imposing hindi for all of us we respect hindi all of us but certainly we respect tamil as well we we respect malayalam as well kannadan as well we respect punjabi kashmiri all these are people are speaking these languages there is no question of any language being more favorable any other language being less favorable so it is a question of uh, the culture of all of us and this is the beauty of the country that we speak different languages we have different identities we have different eating habits we have different uh, living uh, habits all across but nevertheless we have resolved to be together as proclaimed under the provisions of the constitution of india how was how is kashmir right now particularly after the ripple of the article 370 what can uh, somebody uh, some place be some people be when you snatch every right constitutionally guarantees if this would have happened somewhere else how would they feel about if something is being done claiming to be for a community for a people of uh, a region in spite of them without them without consulting them arbitrarily how will they feel that community that group of people kashmiris have joined secular india opted for when there was some claim of separation they rejected and they opted for and that's how bapu mahatma gandhi in 47 when there was a whole holocaust destruction huge destruction around there was not a single incident in kashmir not a single incident when there was a ki- killing spree going on across lahore amritsar even jammu but it was kashmir where there was not a single incident i challenge those who are defaping distorting the image of kashmir today come on and have a discussion with us fact to speak otherwise but kashmir was having an option despite that they rejected any other option opted for remaining together with certain bond of relationship with certain constitutional guarantees with secular india unfortunately that bond of relationship that legitimacy given through the constitutional provisions to this relationship has been dismantled by those in authority today by those who claim to be more nationalistic today what's our party role in kashmir presidency no cpim is a small party it is not that as big as but we are working together with other political parties we have some common platform called people's uh, uh, this uh, gupkar alliance people's alliance for gupkar declaration and national conference is there pdp is there awami national conference some other groups and cpim is part of it and uh, we are working together and uh, uh, we are not being uh, provided that opportunity which could have been which is due to us through 
under the law and despite that despite that we are voicing our concern and we are on the side of the people with your long experience in politics what do you like to say to the indian people the only one appeal is as usual we are part of the people of india treat us as partners we have expressed our will in 47 time and again despite all odds we the people of kashmir want to march together with the rest of the people tamil malayalam punjabi gujarati marathi bengali all others we want to be together we want to live together we want to move together please keep it up don't divide don't allow those who want to divide our ranks on the pretext of religion caste or any other consideration we should remain together we shall remain together for a better future for all of us what be your message to indian youth the youth is a hope for all of us tomorrow belongs to our youth and the dangers ahead are that those in authority are not providing any opportunity they are not doing anything which could have provided some sort of a relief to our younger generation but despite that we have a huge potential in this great country youth must unite together and work together irrespective of regions religions faith creed caste they must work together for what nothing less nothing short we have to be together for making a better future for all of us all of our younger generation tomorrow must be better tomorrow tomorrow must be full of opportunities that is what average young person will aspire for that's what my appeal to the younger generation is they want to divide you under one pretext or the other hijab or no hijab halal or no halal halal whatever your caste whatever your community whatever region youth is the potential it is a hope for future for the whole of the country be it north east kashmir southern part of india or any part of india despite being different in our languages in our choices of food and whatever we have common aspiration the aspiration is a secured life a better life and a dignified life that you can achieve while being together that you can achieve while being on the path of unity and struggle that's my opinion.